I feel like there's nothing to do. Self-isolation can get a little repetitive, but that doesn't mean you need to sit in your room and stare at your phone or get familiar with the back of your eyelids. There's tons of stuff to do online from your room, like... Just because you can't get a physical copy doesn't mean you have to slow down in reading habits. A virtual library works the same way as your public library. It's a repository of knowledge, and these institutions have downloaded thousands of books and archived them online for you to access anytime. It's a great way to keep up with your reading plans and not have to go outside. Have you ever wanted to visit museums all around the world, all in one day? Well, that's where virtual museums shine. You can see amazing art installations, historical exhibits, and cultural artifacts, all from the comfort of your own room. So why not take a trip around the globe and go visit a virtual museum? There's no better time to start an online education. And that doesn't just mean taking traditional college classes. Well, that may be good for some. For others, you want to learn a practical skill. And the internet is perfect for that. It's full of videos and tutorials from experts just trying to teach you basic tricks of the trade. So why not take up a new skill? Maybe learn how to cook or how to draw. It's the perfect time to take up a new hobby. Now this is by no means a comprehensive list. It's just a reminder that you can still explore from your own room. So read a book, learn a new skill, go to a museum, find the things that interest you because they're out there. And most of all, stay healthy.